Once, the UK had a small diagnostics industry. Now, it's doing coronavirus tests in the millions. This is the part of it you don't often hear about. The cyclists and drivers shifting hundreds of thousands of swabs every day. But are they getting the protection they need? We were heading to drive throughs picking up bin bags of COVID, putting them in containers that we weren't cleaning very often. Alex, a member of the Freelance Workers' Union, used to deliver tests to and from this building, home of the doctor's laboratory, one of the biggest testing companies in the UK. It has lucrative testing contracts for major sporting and retail bodies. But behind the scenes, not everything was as it should be. I've got hold of a leaked copy of an investigation by the health and safety executive into the doctor's laboratory. And it's a thick document, but the message is here on the first page. It concludes, I have identified contraventions of health and safety law. The issues raised by the remote inspection, which was carried out in May at the height of the pandemic, included crowding couriers into small spaces, an advice to clean sample transport containers at least once a week, when it should really be at least once a day. Would you clean your hands once a week? You know, after you've touched something, you clean your hands. After the samples have been in the box and taken out, you clean the box. It's a routine sort of procedure. You know, overcleaning isn't the problem. Undercleaning definitely can be. The doctor's laboratory told us it had fixed all the problems, but that at the height of the pandemic, the guidance was changing daily, if not hourly. The spokesperson said, despite superhuman efforts by our safety team to implement these at speed, not every detail was captured, and the points for improvement to our safety systems highlighted by HSC were fully accepted and implemented immediately. But the finding raises questions about the burden placed on the fragile gig economy. We uncovered this scene, captured by CCTV outside a care home in the northeast. The driver takes the box of tests, puts it in his back seat, then discards the box, putting the tests and himself at risk. The company told us it took health and safety very seriously, but a senior MP said it raised questions about the security of gig economy workers. If you're worried about what you're finding, don't hesitate, ring the HSE helpline, make sure they know what you're worried about, and I want to make sure the HSE can respond effectively every time that happens. A message for everyone, but especially those on the front line. Roland Manthorpe, Sky News.